Hey gang, welcome back to another cool manga animation tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to use an AI that many have heard of but few know can be used this way. This video is not sponsored. I found this AI incredibly helpful for manga animation and I couldn't keep this as a secret. Before revealing the AI, let's see what are the things we'll be learning today. Removing a character or text from a manga panel. Extracting a character from a manga panel. And something that'll shock you, coloring a manga panel. All under 60 seconds. Before continuing to watch the video, take a moment to hit the subscribe button and turn the notifications on. You'll probably never find another channel where you will learn manga animations in depth and in a beginner-friendly way. Without wasting time, let's directly jump into the video. The AI we'll be using is Gemini AI. It's free. All you have to do is log in. And as far as I know, Gemini AI can generate around 100 images per day. That's crazy high. Head over to this site. Make sure you are logged in. In this video, I'll talk about pros of using Gemini AI and limitations of using Gemini AI as well. If you are an AI hater, I'm low-key one as well. Don't worry. This AI is nowhere close to replacing manga animation. It's more of an aid to simplify our processes. Let's start off with the first panel. Attach the first panel here. My objective here is to remove the dragonfly sitting on the top. I'll type something like, from the attached manga panel, remove the dragonfly. Keep the prompt simple for better results. And boom, in less than 10 seconds, the dragonfly is removed. If you guys think this is crazy, watch till the end of the video to know this AI's true potential. I'll drag the next panel into Gemini AI. My objective here is to remove both the characters. I want the background alone. I'll type something like, from the attached manga panel, remove all characters, keeping only the clean background. And there you go, this is impressive. And indeed, sometimes the results might not be perfect, there are a bit of white parts here. But we can always fix it on After Effects using a clone stamp tool. And you would notice a very small watermark on the bottom right as well. You can scale it upon After Effects or paint it off. So with this very same panel, what if I want the character on the left alone? I'll type something as, from this attached manga panel, extract the fighter on the left. If you notice the prompt, I wouldn't specify the name of the character. AIs don't often know the characters unless they are extremely popular. So make sure your prompt is structured properly. And the result is honestly insane. It generated the whole sword as well. It added a slash effect. You could remove it by specifying another prompt. But of course we aren't that lazy. Just paint it off in After Effects. Here, I'll talk about a limitation. I thought I could generate another angle of this same panel. That would give animators more panels to animate, right? That's where this happened. It messed up the originality completely. Maybe the initial manga panel doesn't show the character's face well. So this could work for a more clean panel. It's open for you guys to play around with such prompts. Now let's try another manga panel. In this manga panel, the background is barely visible. Let's see if the AI can generate a close resemblance background. Honestly, not bad. The ceiling, the walls are used as a reference to generate the whole background. But if you know the actual context of the manga scene, you could specify what type of room it is, and it'll generate properly. Next up, I'll take a bit more advanced manga panel. I want this background separately. If I had to do this on After Effects, it'd require a good amount of painting, and I'm horrible at painting. Just give a small prompt like this. There you go, how cool is that? It also removed the sword. This simplifies masking and painting, so that you can focus more on the actual animation. Again, what if I want the character alone? Just write a simple prompt like this. And boom. We got the character along with his sword, ready for importing into After Effects. Next up, we can also use Gemini AI for regular background generation. If you want a forest, just say so. If you want a building, it's all a prompt away. Next up, cleaning up manga panels. Take this panel for example. Removing the rain from the panel takes huge amount of painting. Because we'd be animating rain separately, preferably by using a rain green screen. So to remove the rain alone from a panel, just prompt like this. There you go. Now comes the coolest part of this tutorial. What if I tell you, Gemini AI can color your manga panel? Don't believe me? Let me show you. I'm using the same panel we used earlier. 
Copy this simply prompt of mine. And there you go, such an impressive coloring with zero efforts. Also note that, Gemini AI just makes the process faster, not better. Real artists still give life, emotion, and storytelling that no AI ever can. The limitation comes when the panel requires actual coloring in respect to the actual lore. AI wouldn't know how Naruto's outfit looks like, but real artists know that it's orange styled. This is one of the limitation I could think of, and that's everything I wanted to show today. Gemini AI can be a goldmine to save a lot of time that's spent on masking and painting. If you love the video so far, feel free to hit the like and subscribe button for more such tutorials. If you want to learn manga animation from scratch, check out my entire manga animation playlist. If you guys have any doubts regarding anything on this tutorial, feel free to drop the timestamp along with the query in the comments section. I'll reply to every single comment. Join my Discord server if you have advanced doubts, the link is in description. Thank you so much for your continuous support. Until next time, this is Roni, signing off.